All right, well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the first Mid-States Minute. Jeff and Chad, Brent, welcome. Start. Not much, Jeff. How are you? Let everybody get rolling in here. Kyle, how are you? All right. Good evening. And welcome to your Mid-States Minute. This is a new show that we're going to do. It's a it's an open format show where we're going to just talk about things that are going on in the club and um Things that are going on in the world of Hot Wheels all together. So you're more than welcome to uh, ask questions, comments. Justin, it's good to see you. I do have a short list of things that we're going to talk about. And then we will go from there. We'll just let everybody kind of build in here for a little bit. Uh, Charles, welcome. I see Fred popped in as well. So, you know, feel free to ask any question you like. Um, Brent's not here, but I know he's here in the show. So if you got something for him or Fred or anybody else, just go ahead and come on out and ask it. We'll be uh, more than happy to answer for you. Pedro, it's good to see you. Hope you're doing well. And so I think what we'll do is go ahead and get started here. We've got about seven or eight people here. So the first thing I wanted to talk about tonight was the convention itself. Um, we weren't able to go in Charlotte this year, but we were starting to get some things sent to us. And the first thing that I got um, was my newsletter car. And for those that don't know, um, the Hot Wheels newsletter is probably the best way to get yourself a ticket for the show. This year, it looks like they gave us stickers. And then um, this year, we also got our convention car for the newsletter, which was the Fox Body Mustang, the 92. I'm going to show that off for you guys today. And again, there's the logo. Hopefully it's, uh, okay. So that's a good question, Jeff. And that's one of the questions that I had on the things for tonight. And we'll get to you in just a second. I want to finish up um, with the convention. I was hoping that we'd have our um, convention cars to show those off, but they haven't arrived yet. I'll probably get mine Monday. But, you know, we're making things work for that um, and trying to be patient with folks. Uh, I would like to see if more people would be interested in going to the convention in L.A., but we'll we'll get there when we get there. Now, Jeff, to answer your question, um, as far as the, cl the club cars, you know, you can mail, um, you can PayPal that anytime you want. The PayPal address is PapaVon at Yahoo.com. That's P-A-P-P-A-V-O-N at Yahoo.com. Um, the cars themselves, they are in final assembly at this moment. They have not been delivered to Nebraska yet. They're still in Maryland. But we did post sneaks of those earlier this week for you. And we'll have another one, another sneak here probably in the next month or so. 
but they are in Maryland. They are in final assembly. And as soon as they're ready, they'll be sent out. Hopefully that answers your question there, Jeff. Mary, um, welcome. Jerry, welcome. Jackie, Mark, welcome. And just to wrap up, we were talking about the convention and showing off the Mustang. Again, I'll show it one more time. This was the newsletter car. And then we had just said that the convent, the club cars are in uh, final assembly. Jeff, that price is $10 per car. And um, if we need to mail it to you, just uh, send me, PM me your address and I will get it sent out to you once they get here. So the next thing that we were going to talk about um, was the RLC process for the selections cars. And this is really more so for the folks that are, um, uh, that have an RLC account and especially those who are newer to RLC. The big thing that I want to go over with the selections process in and of itself is that this is the one big area where you as the collector or the RLC member has a chance to design, uh, pick paint, pick uh, wheels, uh, you know, and pick the casting. So <laughs> I'm sure you do, Mark. I know you're a big Mustang guy and along with a few other folks. So with the selections process, it's a weekly thing for the next four or five weeks. Right now they're doing the first round, which was they had um, eight cars and they do it in a playoff style format. So they had the uh, custom convoy against the VW drag bus, uh, custom Camaro against the 72. Um, yeah, they are, Jeff. It's a good set. 72 uh, Grand Torino, the GTR uh, Skyline, the 300, SC, 300 SL, which I'm glad it's winning. And then they had the Lambo and the Willys Gasser. So it's a good mix. Uh, I don't think that the GTR or the Custom Camaro are going to win to make it to the final. I think that's what a lot of people thought and are hoping for. I would like to see the Grand Torino win personally, but you know, everybody's got their own car they want to like. So it's important for you as RLC members to do that voting before Tuesday ends the first round. If you know, if you don't um, vote, then you really don't really you know, you're losing your opportunity to have a say in how the process works. Yeah, the drag bus is another popular casting, Jeff. And I know that one was getting pretty beat up last time I checked by um, the custom convoy. The one that surprised me the most, though, was the Gran Torino versus the custom Camaro. I did not expect that one to be so close. Welcome, Steve. Um, so the next thing I had on my list was we're going to talk about the June meeting and pretty much meetings in general. Um, but before I get into that, is there any other questions on the selections process or RLC questions in general, especially if we have some folks that are kind of new to RLC. Okay, so let that go for a second. If not, I we can come back and follow up to it. Um, it for club meetings in general right now, we're just trying to keep things um, open-ended uh, with the current situation as far as getting together and meeting it's it's in flux to be honest I mean, we're kind of 
held up by what the governor what the governor says and um, what the federal government says and then ultimately the venues that we have to choose from. If the venue is not going to let us in, then we really can't have a show. And that's the part where we're kind of stuck at right now. So this show and the couple other live sales that we've done are a way for folks to kind of still interact without risking their health, their family's health, or anybody else. Okay, so we're going to jump back a little bit on the RLC because Brent has a good point. Each week, we're going to go down. Next week, we're going to have like a final four. So the winners of this week's voting will go on and we'll have another round of voting and you'll pick out of the four winners there. And then the week after that, you'll pick between the winners of those two. So it'll be four cars, and then two cars. And then that'll be the car that gets picked for the selections car. And then from there, we'll have another round of voting. And that voting is going to be on color. And then we're going to have another round of voting on wheels. And then we're going to have another round of voting, I think, on packaging too. I know that's what they did last year. So you get every level of detail to pick on this car. So, you know, take advantage of that. This doesn't happen that often. And then once that's all settled and everything's finalized, it takes about a year for those cars to ship out. So you want to make sure that you have your credit card info up to date, your address up to date, because when they actually swipe those car, your card, they're going to use the information that they have on file. So if your info is incorrect or you move like I did last year, I had to make sure that all of that was correct before the selection cars come back. Otherwise, they just get sent back to Mattel and then it's a big, long mess. And you don't want to deal with that. Brent, does that pretty much cover everything that you were uh, thinking about? Pedro Moreno, welcome to the show. All right. Well, I'm going to let uh, this kit back through and we'll pick up um, back onto the club scene. Basically, for those who just uh, came back in, club shows are kind of at the mercy of whether or not things start to open back up. So all I can say is do your part to keep yourself safe, your family safe, and limit the exposure. And hopefully, you know, by June we can get things up and running again and we can get together because I really miss seeing the guys and everybody getting together and interacting and talking. So let's just keep our keep hopeful that the uh, things will get better. Now, as far as meetings go, June 14th, we'll have our next club event that is in Norfolk that'll also serve as our one-year anniversary um, show. And for that, we've decided we're going to do a couple things to celebrate that. Um, the first thing is that the club cars should be um yep perfect and that's exactly right Brent you get to pick the design too um the club cars should be in hand in uh should be in hand in June so you can come to the show and pick them up there or we can mail them out to you. Some folks um, we have addresses for. So if you don't think you can make it, um, just let us know and we'll get it mailed out to you. Yeah, Justin, I hope it's not August. Um, it all depends on how um, how soon 
you know, things start to calm down. But anyway, we're going to plan for June getting together. Um. <laughs> yeah, Dave, they are safe. Um, Vicki, welcome. So June 14th at the Norfolk VFW post 1644. And that is at 316 Brosh Avenue, which is right in the middle of downtown North, Norfolk. Um, as always, it's free entry, and every kid gets a club or gets a free car as well. Um, so what we're gonna do is for the kids, we're gonna have a coloring contest, and we're gonna pick one winner, and that winner is gonna get a ten dollars to spend in the club somewhere with any vendor they want we're gonna have um, a downhill challenge as well and this downhill challenge is separate from the super race this is something new nobody really nobody knows about it so we're announcing it here for the first time and what we're gonna have is Probably two rounds, uh, very similar to the Super Race, where we'll have three from each heat move on. And the winner of that race will be given a prize. We don't know what that prize is yet. So it'll be, it'll be something really nice, though. And then the last thing we're going to do is the Super Race. And this is all part of Super Sunday that we have been having going on. Um, that we've had going on uh, for the last few weeks and will continue to do. Mike, it's good to see you. So for Super Sunday, you know, there's still three... Uh, spots left. So if you want to participate in that, you have to open a super treasure hunt or a treasure hunt with real riders on it. And it has to be one of the cars that it cannot be one of the car. It cannot be one of the castings that's already been used to pick out and you're limited to one car. So we have three spots left. Um, and if you click on the Mid-States page and go click on the Super Sunday tag, you'll see the cars that are already been selected. Leslie, it's good to see you. How are things up in Sioux Falls? Mike, you hanging in there? And so what we're going to do with Super Sunday and the Super Sunday Downhill Challenge is we'll have two heats, top three from each heat move on, and then the winner receives $25 to be used anywhere with any vendor at the club that day. So we, um, with that, those are the three big things that we're planning for the day of uh, the meet the day before um, we will be having the ripping party that'll be again broadcast on Facebook uh, live from the live from the uh, Hot Wheels room here so we'll go ahead and do that too and that'll be probably two to three hours long and we're going to rip open some really good cars again and have a lot of fun doing that. Uh, I'm doing well, Leslie. Things are kind of settling down here. I have to go to work on Monday. I'm not real super happy about that, but we'll go from there. Um, is there any questions or any comments about um, what we want to do for the June meet? or any anything else like that. We do still have uh, tables open as well if anybody would like to request one. Murphy, get out of the trash. Oh, and cheers.
Okay, so, and then the only other thing that I have as far as club meetings go, or things to do with the June meet, is we are thinking about having an open house here um, at my place from about 2 until 6. And it'll be a, like a potluck thing where you guys can bring whatever you want. Um, there'll probably be like hamburgers or hot dogs as well. But we're, again, that's kind of dependent on whether or not some of these restrictions get removed. Okay. Okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, Hot Wheels guy for the regular downhill race. So this is what we're going to... One of the rules is going to be you have to buy a car at the meet. It has to be a mainline car. And it's a dollar car. Nothing, you know... Everybody's going to sell. If you want to race the in the downhill race, you just buy a dollar car. You'll open the car literally right before you put it onto the track. Um, yeah, exactly, Brian. It just needs to be a regular uh, main line that will, you'll open... Um, right before you put it on the track. Yep, good to hear, uh, Dave, that it made it safe. And um, Justin will figure something out to see if we can get him in there. The only other thing is, is make sure that, you know, you guys that have signed up are going to be here June 14th um, for the race. So if Johnny wants to be a part of it, Justin, Maybe you can go live with yours under your name and then we'll just do up a spot for him uh, in there as well. So we we just want to see him open the super on video. All right. Is there any other questions uh, um, about Super Sunday or the downhill races? And for those of you who are kind of following along on the VK Customs, we're we're going. I'm using that so that I can see the video up on my TV. If you just want to go over to Mid States Collectors Club on Facebook and hit the like button, or then you're part of the club. <clears throat> for those of you who haven't, uh, we're kind of trying to phase out the VK Customs and just stay with. Um, Mid States Collectors Club. Okay, Justin. So, just after we're done with this, we'll you and I can get together and kind of work out the details for that to happen. All right. Any other questions, Brent? Do you have anything also, or Fred for that matter? Mr. Chris, welcome to the show. All right, Mark, you have a good day and enjoy your Mustang day. Thanks for stopping in. Okay, so good question, Leslie. The um, the Downhill race right now is scheduled for June 14th in Norfolk. We're going to have two race, two different types of races. One race is just a mainline uh, race where we're going to you buy a car at the meet, rip it open then, uh, and race it then. And then we have what we have called the Super Sunday Downhill Challenge, which is a 12-spot race. We have nine people entered in so far. You're limited to one car, 
The car must be a super treasure hunt or a treasure hunt with real riders on it. And it cannot be any of the castings that have already been picked. So, for example, uh, uh, oh, Brent picked the 36 cord. So, no other 36 cords can be used. I have the Porsche 993 GT or 992 GT3. That casting can't be used again. Uh, Braxton. Uh, Beno has the 68 El Camino, so that casting is out. Uh, so, again, if you just look at on the page on the Super Sunday tag, you'll get to see all of the people that are entered, and then you'll see all the cars that have been selected. Yep, Fred is the man there, Justin. Mike, welcome to the show. And I think that's really all that I've got as far as my list goes. We are always open to other uh, questions and comments. Aaron Plum, if you're still in the room or watching, is your uh, trade day still happening this weekend? If you can just let us know one way or another, that would be awesome if you're still in here, Aaron. I appreciate it. No, good uh good question, Dave. For those that aren't a part of the newsletter, you can just go to let me see here. Uh hwcollectornews.com and I'm just going to put up the tag here. You can go to that website right there and then you, that's where you'll find instructions on how to sign up. I believe the cost is $36 for the year. Um, it is honestly the best way um, that you can um and it's the best way to practice to try to ensure you get a ticket for either nationals or the LA convention. Um, if you wait um, uh, to do it on when it goes live on the national site, there's a good chance that you probably uh, won't get it. Additionally, when the newsletter comes out after the I think it's after the convention, uh, there's a form to sign up for tickets. And if you do it that way, uh, you get your ticket in ahead of time and you have a better chance of getting it. And you get a $5 discount per ticket. I think you can order up to about four or five tickets. And Dave, if you can kind of correct me if I miss, or Brent, if if you can correct me if I misspeak here, but it's the best way to do it. And the newsletter itself is a awesome way to learn about castings, learn about other clubs, uh, learn about um, what's coming out in the near future. So that's a great way to continue to try to get into the nationals without having to wait and when it goes on live um let's see here aaron says they're gonna you're gonna try to do a virtual trade day <clears throat> and try it that way okay well that's gonna be interesting um let's hopefully that works and i'll see if i can pop in myself and uh, make that happen too because that's a great idea that you've got going aaron and Aaron runs a die cast sh a shop out of Sioux City, and he also runs the die cast kingdom. He's been down to support us, and I'd like to get us up there to support him. And, you know, he has contributed cars to uh, the club as well. So I like to thank him for his help um, down here. In, uh, Fred, you were up at the last trade day 
if you want to chime in on how it went and, and share that for others, that would be great if you're still in here. Um, let me see here. Dave, did I cover everything as far as uh, the convention goes, as far as the process for the newsletter? All right, so... Again, I'm going to post up the thing for the address for the newsletter and for the website address. You'll see it down here at the bottom where it says hwcollectornews.com, I believe is what it is. And this is the newsletter giveaway that, we, that they had this year. It's a Fox Body Mustang. This is not what the club is having, but we are having a... Super van. This is what the newsletter gives you when you go to the convention. And then on a separate note, um, we are looking for new castings for next year. We haven't decided a uh, casting yet. But be on the lookout for that. I think we're going to announce that here in the next month or so. Well, there's the vote of approval there for Aaron's trade day for Mr. Hot Wheels guy. I think that speaks volume volumes about who Aaron is. So if we have a if you have a chance to go out there and support him, I would highly recommend that. Okay. Any questions, any comments, any concerns, anything at all that you're seeing out there if you are um, going out in public to go hunt? Is there anybody that you've seen acting inappropriate or, or whatnot? Eight crate for the next car. All right, Fred also says it's a good good thing to do. So we'll try to, like I said, let's go out there and try to support Aaron and what he's doing. He's been very complimentary of us in the club on some of his uh, broadcasts. So I think we should turn around and support him as well. Uh, no, we didn't talk about that yet. That just got announced. Um, so the next round of mail-ins is about ready to start. I don't have the exact dates in front of me right now. Um, but they're using a Chevy Monza as the mail-in car. I did see a picture of that, and it's it's gorgeous. It is a very nice color of purple. Um, very, it's. I think it's about the same color as the uh, club car for the Nissan Skyline this year. Um, now, for those of you who are not familiar with Kroger, Kroger has a big affiliate of grocery stores that just don't include... Um, Kroger. There's Baker's. Um, there is King Supers and a couple others. But if you go to Kroger.com, it'll list all of their family of stores. And as long as you go to one of those stores during the time frame that Jeff just mentioned, April 19th through July, and you have your 20 card backs in your receipt, and you mail it off with your postage and everything you uh, you should yep there you go Dylan's is another one you should qualify for that car and I think it's a pretty nice car it's using the JDM four spoke wheels with a red lined rim or tire I believe and uh, Aaron thank you for the information on the trade day for those that didn't see it it is every third Sunday of the month um, 
And he says they're going to try to use a house party app for that. Uh, let's see here. Club car, uh, RLC membership cars. I know there's been a lot of talk about, you know, who's getting them, who's not getting them. Honestly, um, I think you're just in a wait and see. They'll email you when they're going to ship. I mean, I haven't gotten mine and I got mine on the first go round yet. I think Nathaniel got his and he's a first time person already. He's had his for, I think, a month or two already. But it seems like from what I'm seeing on the newsletter site and on the Charm City um, page that they're starting to come out more. And, you know, so just be patient and and hopefully they'll get out here. And, you know, Dave's right on the hunting par portion of it. Um, we just need to be careful. Uh, you know, if you don't need to expose yourself, then don't. <laughs> oh, always jokes, Brent. Always jokes. Uh, we are also thinking about doing a customs class we just we want to put that off a little bit yet we we need to finish up club shirts first and finish uh that design and then make sure we get everything tidied up for the club car itself uh, we do have a rough sketch of what we want to do and we just need to get that finalized and sent off to a screen printer. And I think we were talking with Q about he knows with somebody up there in South Dakota that can print them off pretty cheap. So uh, stay tuned for that as well. <laughs> That's all right. That was a good distraction. All right. Any other questions? Comments, concerns. Um, Mr. Dave Baumgartner is in here tonight. He is one of the representatives on the board for Charm City Collectors Club. They are a Hot Wheels club out of the Baltimore, Maryland area and a very big influence and inspiration for our club. They, these are some of the best people I, uh, some of the best collectors I ever met and a lot of mentorship and guidance come from these folks as well. So, uh, Dave and Roy, Calvin, and, and I know you don't, some of these names you, you may not recognize or know, but if you ever get a chance to, uh, check out their page, go ahead and do that. There's... A lot of knowledge, a lot of information sharing that goes on over there. Yeah, I'm sure the, the shirts are going to be quite popular um, for everybody. I mean, we want something that identifies who we are, especially when we go out to other places. Um, that way we're just not a ragtag group. Um but we want people to wear our shirt, wear it with pride, and to represent us because we like representing you. I mean, Fred, myself, Brent, and everybody in here, you know, we, we try to do our best to support each other. And the folks at C4 have been very outgoing and very um, great about helping us out. So we appreciate all their love and support. And like I said, if you ever get a chance, chance, go check their page out. Yep, we we know, Justin, the shirt is huge. We want to get going on that. But like I said, we just want to finish up on um, the uh, cars and that design. So we don't want to rush it, but we, we know it's something of a priority because you guys just even right now have made 
made it pretty clear you want y'all want one so we're gonna do that um, any other qu questions or should I ask this besides an eight crate what else would you guys like to see for a club car drag bus or a 55 gasser now well, that could be in the works too both of those are very popular castings and I feel like they'd be somewhat easy to do graphics for um, but we'll keep that in mind too both of those castings It looks like we don't have any other th thing else on that. Um, Cyclone pickup, yeah, that would be very cool as well. That is, uh, <laughs> Mad Manga, that would be, that would be interesting, but definitely get the Boko Zuka theme going there for those that, that know what that is that's Japanese drift drifting uh, lingo the dairy delivery would be another cool casting as well now that's the one thing about club cars we want to make it easy for our designer so that um, they have something you know a lot of surface area to work with copper stopper is another one that's got a good surface area to work with. A little bit smaller, but I think there there's good surface area to work with. So all all are good suggestions. Thank you, Ed, for that um for mentioning the copper stopper. Um all right, any other questions from anybody? And like I said, we we're still planning on doing our June meet June 14th yeah I know cyclones have been hard to get a hold of we we're still three or four cases behind um, club car should be available at the June meet uh, we're gonna have two separate downhill races with a prize yet to be determined for the mainline race um, and a $25 prize for this da super, super downhill challenge. Yeah, Aaron, no, that's a very good point, um, that you made there. It is, it's something different and, you know, it, it's not something you see every day and, and it's new on top of that. So. No, that's a good point that you make uh, about the cyclone. Um, does it is that topper a uh, metal or is it plastic? If anybody knows, because if it's metal, that's going to make it pretty easy to do. I would think to do a, do a graphic on it or a decal. But no, Aaron, I, I agree with you. It, it's different, and it looks great out of the box already. That black, just perfect. Okay. Um, for those that would like to request a table that haven't done so already, tables are $10 a table. Um, you can pay the day of the meet. And the other thing I want to talk about as far as the club goes is trader table fees. This is something that comes up uh, every time that we have a meet 
and I don't think a lot of people understand why we're doing that um, and what's the purpose of this of the trader table fee, fee. Uh, you know since we don't have an entrance fee uh, for our our meetings you know it's not fair to have somebody come in and bring in a bag full of cars or supers or whatever and then make deals with everybody at the at the tables and then come out and walk away with a hundred dollars and then they're not doing anything to support the club they're just coming in make their money and walk out so you know we're asking for a small four dollars to help offset that cost and then you get a trade all day with anybody you want now if you have a table already you're exempt from that fee we don't we don't want to discourage trading but we want to make sure that everybody's helping contribute to the club and and not um, hurting the club and Aaron says he's got a new H case available next week so that should be uh, pretty good for one of his auctions and Jeff is saying that Walgreens is getting the pearl and chrome set so that'll be good and of course and that, that's another thing too about the Arc rules versus some of the shows that you see us at, we have to follow their rules. So, like, um, just an example, the Carney show, that is not our show. That is not a club show. So we follow whatever rules that Eric Hollingsworth has out there. And they don't have the trader table fee. So we won't do that. We don't do that out there. Same thing at uh, Vicky's show in Grand Island and Brad uh, Brad Beebe's show in Lincoln. We follow whatever standards and rules that we'd set up there. And then we go from there. There is a new show in Fremont, Nebraska on February 20th, uh, the week after ours. At the uh, at the fair, I don't know if it's the fairgrounds or it's where the swap meet is always held at out at Fremont, um, and that's being uh, run by one of the I just can't remember the name right now. Um, that's being run by one of the folks that goes to our shows in Lincoln. Um, D and J Toys runs that. That's a new show, so if you can go out and support them. If that show is still happening. Yes, Jeff, the the uh, the Omaha show is going to be rescheduled. We don't have a date yet. Again, that's kind of all up in the air as far as um, as far as uh, when it. Thanks, Reagan. Yeah, Christensen Field. That's what I was trying to think of. Okay. Let me back up a little bit because there are a couple great questions that came in. Uh, yeah, that Dave, for all trades that are done outside the club and the person brings the... If person A makes a trade with person B and they're just going to meet upside, um, they're just going to meet at the club here in Norfolk to fit, you know, exchange the cars or the cash or whatever. Um, that needs to be done. Uh, that, that fee is involved in there as well. Um, and that's where we see most of that from. And then um, the show in Fremont is in June. 
June 20th, just to correct Brent, or uh, not correct Brent, but to help out. And as far as Papillion goes, we don't have a date yet set for that. Um, we are probably looking at either late summer, early fall for that. We have to speak with the golf course and go from there. Um, we're kind of limited on space for that show. Uh, we're only if we can only use the small room, we have only about 16 tables we can use. If we get the area outside of the concession area, it gives us another, it basically doubles our space. So we get about 30. Yeah, I agree, Dave, and I, I appreciate your support on that. Um, I know that you guys have something similar to that out there. It's been a while since I've been to one of your shows. I think it's like, is it two bucks for your guys' trader tables? Um, so, as far as Papillion goes, we, yeah, we, we're going to go back out there again. That's the bottom line on that. We'd like to find a bigger space. Um, so, if anybody's in the Omaha area and knows of a place, you know, please reach out to us. We, we want to have a bigger show. I mean, the turnout's great. I think the last time we had a show out there in December, it was 92 people. Um, 92 people in, in two hours, you know. That's the other thing about the Papillion show is we're only allotted two hours to do that show. And um, just outside of Omaha would work too, Jeff. We're... We want to make, we, we want to have something in the Omaha area so that doesn't go away um, for everybody. You know, Brent and Fred and myself are very, um, how do I want to say this? We're pretty reasonable about where we have our shows. We understand that coming to Norfolk every show is not going to work out for everybody. So our motto is, um, if you can't come to us, we'll come to you. And trying to get all the shows together and on the same page and everybody come and talking in the same spot, it makes it easier for us to work together. So... You know, the balancing act is trying to work with the other club, the other club, the other shows so that we don't step on their toes or take away from them, but yet get our message um, uh, as well. Yeah, yes, Jackie, I've heard of that one and uh, I've heard about that location as well I just cost is I think the cost for that place was one of the reasons why um, oh I knew you were going to ask me that yeah Dave there's some of us that need to make a trip out east again it's been too long it's going to try to swing it around a Nebraska football game, but, you know, Maryland uh, took enough of a beating last year. Uh, but, no, Jackie, to get back to what you're saying, I, that, I've heard of that location. Um, from what I understand, it's a pretty good location, lots of open area, but, you know, cost is one of the things that... Um, comes into play and I think they require insurance as well so that is two factors that are kind of important and that's and that's the other thing about the golf course is that the cost towards the club is relatively uh, inexpensive and we're not required to have insurance 
which is another good thing. At least for the club, anyway. Uh, good question, though, Jackie. Very uh, good question, and thank you for the suggestion. Um, and, of course, Dave, you guys are always welcome to come out here, too. All right, so any any follow-up questions or uh, any questions about Club Cars RLC or in general? All right, Jeff, that would work too. Thank you very much. Um, you know, we we uh, would like, you know, bigger, like I said, we'd like a bigger spot in Omaha or close to it. Um, so if we can work something out, that would be great. All right, so we got, we got, any we got about like five minutes left uh fred or brent do you guys got anything before we check out or if we want to keep going we can keep going too okay Mike Lanning, are you still in here? Oh, yep, there you are. All right, Mike. So I've been working on this for you for probably way too long, about uh, about a year and a half now, I think, because of the move and not sure what else is going on. But here is your... 70 Roadrunner that you wanted me to fix up for you. Uh, I originally got this. It was in, it had plastic tires and a engine that was uh, not working very well or was glued in there. The guy had JB Weld all over the place. But I put it back together and it does roll. So there you go, man. I am very glad that uh, you were able to get that back. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's been announced yet. Usually theirs is more in the summer. Um, uh, their Hot Wheels guy, I think theirs will be after this one. I think theirs is the July to September one. All right. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for stopping in. We'll see you uh, next time. Yeah, you're welcome, uh, Mike. Tim, thanks for coming in. Yeah, Reagan, it, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. It took me a while, but it got together. Um, um, in November, or uh, excuse me. The one after this last one. So it goes from July to September. Legends Tour. That's a whole nother ball of wax. That I don't even know if. Um, if that's going to even happen. Um, last I knew they had suspended all the Legends Tour events. Until further notice. So I'm not sure. Um, I know last year what they did was there was a couple rainouts and they just kind of moved those around and messed with the vending truck locations, kind of screwed up the whole Midwest area. Um, yeah, October is going to be fun, Brent. I really hope you and I get tickets for LA. Um, and anybody else that would like to go, you know, it's not as um, inexpensive. It's not as expensive as you think it is. I think you need about if you're rooming with somebody that'll cut your hotel cost down to about three hundred dollars for a Tuesday through 
uh, Saturday night stay. Um, you know, it cost $228 this year for a full set of convention cards minus dinner car and um, um, your dinner car and your RLC pink car. Those haven't, um, those were separate items that you purchased separately. And then with your ticket, you get a finale car. And I think this year, they, again, they, I think it was an extra 30 bucks or so. And you get, you could buy an extra finale car. Hi, Jeff. Welcome. Uh, so, you know, if you're thinking that it's too much to go, it, it's, it's not if you save up. I know work is another issue, but I think for you know around fifteen hundred dollars, fifteen to two thousand dollars, you you can make it a go of it. You may not be able to purchase a lot of cars room to room, but um, you definitely would be able to go out there and have a good time. And honestly, the room to room is not as important for me i go out there to to the conventions to go hang out with uh my peoples that i don't get to see every year um dave is one of those folks mr mimic welcome um some of the folks from the charm city uh, club as well some guys from ohio south carolina you know mr greg sully and scott orloff and and uh, Mike Barnes, to name a few. So, you know, club stuff or uh, convention is not that difficult if you just, you know, bear down and and put a little bit away. You know, I, it it can be done. All right, we are still rolling along. Any other questions, comments, concerns? Um, anything like that. And, oh, one last thing about the, uh, that Walmart mail-in. I don't know what it is, a Hot Wheels guy. I, I just don't know. It, it could be a Zamac. They typically, Walmart is a Zamac. Um, last year, I know that's what they were doing, um, at the Legends Tour, it was they're giving out those drag bus or uh, dairy deliveries and that Silverado as well. All right, any other comments? Okay, so what do you guys think about this? Is this something that we want to keep doing in the future? Um, Or do you want to see something like more specific? Like, you know, we can talk about a specific casting or a series of cars like Boulevard or Parking Plates. I mean, it's up to you guys. Uh, anything is open for questioning. Oh, and the Pepsi is good, by the way. No, you're welcome, Aaron. I, like I said, I just trying to figure out different ways for us to get together and talk and chit chat without driving each other crazy. So I appreciate the kind words, and well, hopefully, you're thing goes well on you know the trade day goes well on Sunday I will try to pop up pop in there and see if I can find something now that I've got stuff to trade yeah you're welcome Hot Wheels guy I you know that's that's what this is about I mean trying to help each other share news information and uh, one last thing on the RLC site 
you know, they have a calendar for when uh, cars are coming up and when forums and things like that. That's another great way to learn um, about our hobby. The next RLC sale, I believe, was scheduled for, um, I think, the 28th. And it's going to be a black Lamborghini in one of the cubes. It's going to be similar to... Hold on one second. It's going to be very similar to this one. But I think it's in black and a different color of wheel. Um, there is a picture of it, I believe, on the RLC site in the forums. But I just thought I'd give you guys a quick reference for visual. And again, for those that were late to get here, this is your newsletter car that you would, re would have received if you were a member. And... Um, of the Hot Wheels newsletter and went to the convention. Okay. And Reagan, and it looks like your comment didn't show up on my screen, but um, I'll find it at the end of the video. So if it's if you had a question for me. I will get back to you. All right. Any other uh, items, questions? If not, I'll give it just a couple more seconds. Brent or Fred, if you want to chime in, and then we'll call it good. Looks like everybody dropped out. Ooh, God, that doesn't look good. All right. Nothing but peace, love, and happiness to everyone. Be safe out there, and we will see you hopefully in June. If not, we'll try to run another, uh, another one of these here in the next week or so. All right, good night.